crews on current gen were hopping aboard the Concha del Mar for new scenery, competition, and challenges. But this is no ordinary cruise ship as Concha del Mar will be making new stops for each season. You're 2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. And just about to get underway as the starting fires have been announced. Sit tight. We'll be back in just a moment. And a good Thursday evening to you. 2K Sports presents the NBA. Our game tonight featuring the Golden State Warriors as they go up against the Los Angeles Clippers. This is Kevin Harlan. DA, it's all yours. Thank you, Kevin. And I love, David, how he is always hungry for wins and competition. Thank you. Here are the starters for Los Angeles. The guard spots filled by Jackson and George. Morris at four, with a bucket at the five. And it's Leonard in at the three. And for Golden State. And the old core of this team out there, Curry and Clay is guards with Draymond at four. James Wiseman's out there with Andrew Wiggins. Hey, who's watching? Coming He's checked in for Draymond Green. At the and then for the Clippers, Zubats is checked in for Ibaka. Batum comes in for Leonard. One. Eric Bledsoe is subbed in for Reggie Jackson. Clay Thompson has collected a fair share of some pretty impressive records and accomplishments along with the team commitment to championship caliber play. Bledsoe against Curry. The turnaround, and there's Paul George on the assist by Bledsoe. It took him a while, but he finally gets one to fall. Curry passes to Wiggins. Thompson from long range. And it's Eric Bledsoe with the rebound. And right from the start, Kevin, they've been pounding the glass. Most of those 50-50 balls also going their way. And the shot goes in. Warriors leading by four. Curry passes to Wiggins. Wiseman kicks to Thompson. Pass to Curry. And the call on the shot that Eric sends him to the line. That's his first. It goes on Eric Bledsoe. Steph with a great job there of finding the seam and just attacking the paint, trying to get as deep as possible. And he gets a little bit physical with him, but will pay off in free throw. And some changes here for the Warriors. Bielitsa, he checks in for Wiseman. Otto Porter Jr. comes in for Andrew Wiggins. And Poole subbed in for Thompson. Manns checked in for Los Angeles. Luke Kennard comes in for George. Here's Bledsoe. No points in the game yet for him. Five on the clock. He gets it in there. One of the first Jordan. attributes you hear Ooh. about Eric Bledsoe his is his strength foul. shown there. Second team foul. And guys, let's get your take on the scoring Shooting breakdown for the, for the Warriors. They Eric pounded Bledsoe. the ball inside in the Shooting. first half, forcing the D to collapse, and that frees up the shooters going forward. Well, also in the early going, they found a way to get themselves to the free throw line. Warriors leading by four. This is at the pool. Outside Curry. And there's the three second call. This one on the defense. This will be his third free throw shot of the game. And, and over the course of last year, he was up over 90%. And with a stroke like that, you see why. And he shows the focus there, nails the technical. And no debate about the Currys and them being the best shooting family in NBA history. You know, Stefan and Seth have had remarkable careers along with their father, Dell. In fact, going into the 2021-22 season, Seth actually had a better career three-point shooting average. How about them numbers? Ludzo passes to Mann. Back to Ludzo. Over Curry. And again, the Clippers good for two. Now, Bledsoe's a guy, as an offensive player, you might lose sight of him, but he can have some nights. You always have to account for him. To the middle. Here's MP. 
and a great assist by Curry as that one goes in. And the Warriors lead by seven. Los Angeles has gone one of five from downtown in the first quarter. Points out there have been hard to come by. Well, gravity is very, very real, and Steph Curry has the most of any NBA player right now. Here's Kanon. That one, no good. The Warriors go the other way. They couldn't put the pieces together, losing the last matchup with the Lakers. Yeah, I mean, on the road, their defense was just overrun. Couldn't match the intensity of the opponent, and it cost them. Well, let's hope there isn't any carryover from that letdown in this one. Brent, when you talk about the gravity of Curry, explain what you mean. Well, Kevin, any time that he's on the floor, when he crosses half court, all five defenders are paying attention to where Steph is. The more he moves, the more he shifts around the incredible attention of all five defenders. And when guys make one misstep, or you have two defenders make one misstep to carry their way to where Steph Curry is, it opens up easier opportunities on any possession. That's what we're talking about when we speak on Steph's grab. And there's the bucket from MP. They're getting on a roll inside. Their last three field goals have come from the paint. Clippers trail by nine. We've got 108 left to play in the first quarter. Butzo finds Batum. Here's Zubats. Good for the basket. Starting off one for one with that shot. And those are the kind of nice inside looks they've gotten here in the first half. Some nice passing by Golden State. The elite to misses. There's a little bit of pressure on him, but not enough to cause him to miss a shot that's in that close. Kennard shot is off. Well, they shouldn't be giving that shot to anyone, but they certainly shouldn't be giving it to him. That's a big break Clippers for the defense. Foul. And they've Kevin's been the more man. physical team. Offensively seeking contact, foul. looking to Tune score in the lane, penalty. and getting to the line. The Warriors have gone 7 of 9 from the free throw line tonight. And at the line last season, about 78% as a team. Pretty solid numbers. And the Warriors making a change here. Kermingas checked in. Ludzo passes to Mann. We've got 22 seconds left in the first quarter. Ludzo for three. It's rebounded by Kaminga. To the paint. Here's MP. Good, and Curry gets the assist. Curry's got his fourth assist in this one. And they have owned the paint so far, and the score reflects it. Yeah, the bully ball tonight has paid dividends. Highly effective down there with the physical play. And so it's the Golden State Warriors holding on to an 11-point cushion as we... Well, he's won at the highest levels, and Steph Curry understands. Stay in the moment and just focus on here and now. Well, you hear it a lot. Keeping your focus. And as much defensive attention as Curry commands on a nightly basis, he can't afford a lapse of focus. And welcome back to the second quarter of action. Plenty of basketball left to play, but this one has been one-sided so far. And a very convincing performance here from the Warriors so far. Boy, that their offense looks really good when everyone's in sync. Terrific first quarter. They yeah, couldn't ask for a better one right now. Just a complete rhythm by all the guys who got some minutes. Wonderful start. So with George on the bench, here's who Teron Lewis going with. The post pairing, Batum and Zubax. Jackson is the point with Kennard on the wing. And it's man in at the small forward. On the sideline, let's catch up with Hall of Famer David Alden. Thank you, Kevin. Clay Thompson has lost two prime years to a torn ACL and then a ruptured Achilles. He says so many athletes have been through this. It's just a new set of challenges. With my style of play, I feel I can be effective till my late 30s. I plan on being the all-NBA player I was and won't settle for anything less. Guys, that will be a great comfort to this team. Indeed, and who's going to doubt him? I love his attitude. Undaunted. David, thank you. And it's Jackson with the ball, bringing it up for the Clippers. It's a 13-point game. Next up on the schedule, the Grizzlies. Then it'll be a home game. We'll start a three-game homestand with that game. Warriors.
Warriors have gone one of three to start out the second quarter. Kennard against MP. Back to Porter. Good, and the assist goes to MP. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. Clippers trail by 15. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Here's Mann, guarded by Porter. Mann can hit. The Warriors have gone 2 of 4 shooting the ball here in the second. Porter passes to MP. Banked in off the glass. MP's got 12. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now. Especially on the interior. And the Clippers decide to take their first time out here. And we see teams around the league trying to integrate star veterans with talented rookies. Break, it's not always easy, is it? Not at all, Kevin. And a lot of times it becomes a choice between win now or win later. Clippers have been getting it done at the line. 10 for 12. Line for the Dubs, Andrew Wiggins. One shot. Throw good, Wiggins. Uh, Wiggins has been carrying the, the torch, so to speak, for Canada as he's come in and been one of the most celebrated prospects from that country in a long time. Leonard kicks to Bloodsoe. Two minutes remaining. No good. That would have tied. Golden State's gotten cold from deep in the second quarter. Just two of six from long range. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by the two. You love the pressure he's putting on him. Almost had that steal. Yeah, pestering right now. And that's going to pay some dividends. At some point, there's going to be a turnover. Otto Porter Jr. He's checked in for the Warriors. And Los Angeles making a change here as well. Mann's checked in for George. And he can't get the first one. At the line for the Dubs. Number 21. That one misses. The Clippers trail. Leonard inside. Curry meets him. Why Leonard's game is just so special. He's so talented at getting to his spots, doing it with patience and poise, and capitalizing. MP. It's hauled in by Zubats. Los Angeles has gotten the three-point bug tonight. They've taken 15 shots outside the arc. Oh, six of 15. Oh, he he went for the two-hander on the slam using some muscle. Some urgency from him there. Sure. Here's MP. And MP throws it down. And Wiggins is a capable passer. Someone that wants to hit a guy in the right spot. Outside Leonard. 58 seconds left in the first half of the game. Off on the layup. The Warriors shooting certainly a key for them in this one. 55% from the field. And a wide open look here for Wiggins. Hands it from downtown. Now it's a three-point Warrior lead. Well, right now, helping the offense out by creating space. Andrew Wiggins deadly enough from that spot. Zubac, the best of what's up. Score the basket. Mark him four for eight, shooting 50% so far. Now you could see why there's so much talk about Bledsoe being physical on display there. An MP with the basket on the assist by Curry. Curry's got five assists in the game. Yeah, take your time. You don't give them another possession. And hopefully that's what they'll do here. It's what most teams try to execute at this time in the game. So looking it over. Left side, Leonard. And that'll do it for the first half of competitive games. And in that first half, we saw a pretty tight battle. We'll soon find out what sort of adjustments... Coming on the for the Warriors. Clippers. MPs checked in for Wiseman. Porter comes in for Tremont Green. Bialica, he's checked in for Andrew Wiggins. And Poole subbed in for Curry. 
The Clippers also making some changes. Zubats is checked in for Ibaka. Batum comes in for Marcus Morris. Mann subbed in for Kawhi Leonard. Well, we know Zubats can eat up space inside, Brent. Great job of securing rebound. Yeah, obviously, if he was playing starter minutes or anywhere approaching 30 minutes, Zubats is going to be in double figures, ripping down both offensive and defensive things on the glass. What's impressed me about him, though, is he's got great hands on the inside and has now become a very viable roll target. So with Curry sitting on the bench, here's the group that Steve Kerr has on the floor. They've got Bielitsa. Clay Thompson is out there Booker's with foul. Jordan Poole. Nick. Then Virginia. it's MP. That's his and it's Porter at the, the four-man position. And a moment now to quickly take a look at the offensive the approach the for the Clippers. And they made the long range look like a layup at times in this one, guys. The other thing they've done is had penetrating passes inside in the interior. Plenty of points in the paint. Eric Bledsoe has checked in for Los Angeles. The pass to man. Six on the shot clock. Pass to George. Over Thompson. That one wide left. If you told me this was the kind of game he was going to have, I would not have expected them to be in front right now. Now, MP. He's got 18. It's Bialica. Good in the assist goes to MP. Well, Bialica is a weapon because of his efficiency from out there. George against Porter. Cool with the steal. And here we go. Fast break. MP's got it. A shot by Thompson and no one's around. Another three for Golden State. Great ball movement there. On the wing, George. Back to Bledsoe. Some nice ball movement by the Clippers. Zubac finds Bledsoe. Pass to George. Will it go? Buries the long-range jumper. George has got nine points now in the quarter. Trying more and more to utilize the three-pointer. It's a good idea. That's his second three of the game. One in each half. MP. Good for his eighth field goal. He's attempted a dozen shots. Making the easy shots and the tough shots. He's on top of his game. Watso kicks to Zubas. It's George on the wing. There's a minute 34 left in the third quarter of the game. And that one, good. George has got 18 points. This quarter belongs to him, and that's how you do it when you're out in front. Don't play it safe. Keep that momentum going. And the rejection by Zubans. And that's out of bounds. And so Los Angeles takes the win. And in the win, a comfortable win in what was, I think, gee, a pretty hostile environment. It, it really was. You, you know, it's never going to be easy on the road, but they didn't have too many problems with that tonight. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Brett Berry, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. So long. Just got off the phone with your agents, and they filled me in on the plan. Cool. What you think? It's right up our alley. <sighs> I'm going to be honest with you, man. I was having second thoughts when I was on my way over here. But no, 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 no. This will be exactly what you need. Plus, I got the perfect tweet for you to like. Check it out. Let me see. All right, it's sent. Hey, yo, that message was kind of wild. Are we doing too much? What? No. no. Look, you liking a tweet saying that you love your teammates ain't news. This... Is news. Man, I don't know, bro. I'm getting cold feet now, homie. Look, that's fine. You're being aggressive, right? It's natural to be a little nervous. You're right. What we do now? Now, you should probably take a walk if you're feeling this anxious. And actually, we're out of Gatorade, so... Bruh, why you keep drinking the Gatorade that fast? Because I work out and I have to refuel. Because I watch two movies and a podcast. Mm, how were they? Not that good. Don't it feel better when you tell the truth? I do not.
Hey, yo, Rick, my phone been blowing up, G. Oh, good. That means it's working. What do we do now? Now, we wait for it to become a thing. More waiting? Look, it'll be like a day or two max. Internet outrage <sighs> machine will probably get around to it once they figure out what else they're mad about today. Look, I'm tired of all this waiting around, bro. Yeah, I know, because you're a guy that likes to take action. It's one of your better qualities, but for now, just sit tight. Let your team handle it. I mean, that's why you got us, right? You yeah. just focus on hooping. We'll take care of the rest.